Yahuwah renews the covenant. Genesis 17, 1-27 and Jubilees 15, 1-34 When Abram was 99 years old, in the fifth year of the fourth septennium of this Jubilee, in the third month, in the middle of the month, Abram celebrated the feast of the first fruits of the grain harvest, and he placed new offerings on the altar, the first fruits of his produce to the Lord, as well as a bull, a goat, and a sheep on the altar as a burnt sacrifice to him, and fruit and drink offerings mixed with frankincense. The Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk in my presence and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between me and you, and will greatly multiply you. Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. You won't be called Abram any longer. Your name will now and forever be Abraham, because I have made you the father of many nations. I will make you abundantly fruitful, and I will make nations of you. Kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your descendants after you throughout every generation as an everlasting covenant to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and your descendants after you the entire land of Canaan where you are now an alien as an everlasting possession. I will be their God. Then God said to Abraham, As for you, you must keep my covenant, you and your descendants after you throughout all generations. This is my covenant that you must keep between me and you and your descendants after you. Every male among you must be circumcised. You must be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin, and it will be a sign of the eternal covenant between me and you. Throughout every generation, every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised, no matter whether they are born in your household or bought with money from a foreigner anyone belonging to you, even those who are not your offspring, whether born in your household or purchase, they must be circumcised. My covenant in your body will be an everlasting covenant. Any uncircumcised male who has not been circumcised in the flesh on the eighth day will be cut off from his people because he has broken my covenant. God further said to Abraham, As for your wife Sarai, you may not call her Sarai. Instead, her name will be Sarah. I will bless her, and beyond that I will give you a son by her. I will bless her and him, so that she will be the mother of nations. Kings of people will come from her through her son. Abraham fell face down again. He laughed, rejoiced, and said to himself, Will a son be born to a man a hundred years old? Will Sarah give birth at the age of ninety? Then Abraham said to God, to God, Oh, if only Ishmael might live in your presence. But God replied, It's true. Your wife Sarah will also bear you a son, and you must call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendants after him. And I have heard your con you concerning Ishmael, I will most definitely bless him. I will make him fruitful and will multiply him greatly. He will become the father of twelve princes. I will make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah will bear to you at this particular time next year. When he had finished talking with him, God went up from Abraham. On that very day, Abraham did as God told him and took Ishmael his son, and every one born in his household, or bought with his money, every male in his household, and circumcised them in the flesh of their foreskin, as God had told him to do. Abraham was ninety-nine years old when he was circumcised, and his son Ishmael was thirteen. Abraham and his son Ishmael were both circumcised in the flesh of their foreskin on that same day. And all the men of his household, including those born in his household, or bought from among the children of a foreigner, were circumcised with him.